This video is made available by the Allegheny College Computer Science Department under an attribution, non-commercial, no derivative works, version 3.0 license. In this video, we'll take the first steps to completing the assembly of our Freeduino kit, an open source variant of the Arduino. We will solder the power LED and associated 1K resistor. Then, two 100 nanofarad capacitors on either side of the FTDI chip. Next, one 4.7 microfarad capacitor, and then two 10 nanofarad capacitors. Lastly, we'll solder in the three pin male header. Our first step will be to attach the power LED and associated resistor. Note how the artwork on the PCB shows the correct orientation of the LED. Some sources will tell you to look at the length of the legs of the LED to tell which side is positive and which side is negative. Instead, Look at the anvil and the post. The anvil is the larger of the two and is the negative side of the LED. If you look carefully at your LED, you can see the anvil and the post inside, and this will never lead you astray, regardless of the length of the legs of the LED. Now insert the LED into the PCB, flip it over, and bend the legs back. This will hold the LED against the surface of the PCB. Then bring in your soldering iron. Heat both the pad and the leg and touch your solder to the junction of the two just like you practiced with the wire. This will create a strong bond between the pad and the leg, which is what you need for a good electrical connection. Next, we'll do the same thing with the 1K resistor. Insert the resistor and bend the legs back, but I'm going to do something different this time because I made a mistake with the LED. Trim the legs before soldering. The reason for this is the legs act as a heat sink. As you touch the soldering iron to the long leg, there's more metal to sink the heat. By trimming the leg, we are heating less metal and helping guarantee a better connection. Again, I touch both the pad and the leg and I bring my solder in to fill the hole. Do the same thing with the other side. Again, making sure to heat both the pad and the leg and then bring the solder in to make the connection. You're doing the same thing here that you did when you were practicing with the wire, except now you have a pad on the PCB and the leg of your resistor. Once you've done both sides, use your clippers to trim the legs back further. As you know from your practice, if you've done a good job with the soldering, you don't have to worry about pulling the component out of the board. The solder connection will be strong and hold the component in place. <laughs> 